recall from our previous module, uh, we noted that free convection, or sometimes it's called natural convection, occurs when a fluid comes into contact with a heated surface. And due to buoyancy, since the, uh, the density of the fluid will decrease when it is in contact with uh, a higher temperature solid, uh, due to that buoyancy, that fluid will rise and colder fluid will take its place. So that sets up a natural current around the solid object. So in this case, there are three dimensionless numbers that are used to develop these correlations. Nussel number, Grashof number, and parental number. The correlation is actually quite simple. Nussel number equals a constant A times Grashof number times parental number raised to power constant M. Now this quantity Grashof number times parental number is also called Rayleigh number. The Grashof number is given by this equation. dc raised to power 3 rho squared g beta delta t divided by mu square, where dc is the characteristic dimension. Now this characteristic dimension will depend on what is the shape of the object and we will see that in a minute. Rho is the density of the fluid, g is the acceleration due to gravity, beta is the coefficient of volumetric expansion. Recall that when the temperature of the fluid increases, it is going to expand. So this coefficient tells us something about how much expansion of the fluid will take place. Delta T is the temperature difference between the surface of a solid and the surrounding bulk fluid temperature. Mu is the viscosity. Now the Grashof number can be also written as a ratio between the buoyancy forces and viscous forces. Similar to Reynolds number, a Grashof number is also useful in telling us something about what is the state of fluid flow over an object. For example, if Grashof number is greater than 10 raised to power 9 for fluid flow over vertical plates, then that indicates a turbulent flow. Now, in the calculations of physical properties of the fluid, we use the film temperature, where the film temperature, we call it Tf, equals Ts, which is the surface temperature of the solid, plus T infinity, bulk temperature of the fluid, divided by 2. And next, uh, let's see how to obtain constants A and M. Table 4.2, where we see different shapes of objects to determine the value of these constants A and M. For example, for a vertical plate, the characteristic dimension is the length or the height of that plate. Now, if the Rayleigh number is between 10 raised to power 4 and 10 raised to power 9, then the constant A is 0 0.59 and the constant M is 0 0.25. If the range of Rayleigh number is determined to be 10 raised to the power 9 to 10 raised to the power 13, then constant A will be 0 0.1 and constant M will be 0 0.333. So again, depending on the shape and the orientation of the object, we determine the value for Rayleigh number and then select the appropriate constants A and M in our equation Nussel number equals A in parentheses 
Grashof number times parental number, which is the Rolle number, raised to power m. In the textbook, you will see other shapes as well as orientations of different objects and appropriate relationships between the Rolle number and Nussel number so that one can calculate an appropriate Nussel number and from Nussel number we can find out the convective heat transfer coefficient since you know that Nussel number equals h dc over k.